We make a number of different hydrates in the laboratory. Some are with hydrocarbons, methane being the most abundant. We also make carbon dioxide hydrate, ethane hydrate, propane, a number of different structures. So liquid nitrogen is very cold. It's about 100 degrees colder than the temperature at which these hydrate samples would dissociate when they would decompose to ice plus gas on the tabletop. In here we have a little piece of methane hydrate. It's enclosed in a soft metal jacket. So the samples we make, they're polycrystalline. They look like snow, looks like compacted snow. But honestly, it does contain gas inside. Take a little piece off here and as it warms up, you'll begin to see it pop. It's reverting to ice plus gas, and then as the ice would melt, as it continues to warm, it'll uh, end up being water plus gas. So this will form anywhere you have water and gas at moderately low temperatures or high pressure. My name is Steve Kirby. I'm a geophysicist here uh, with the U.S. Geological Survey in Menlo Park. I work with Laura Stern who's also a geophysicist in this lab that is devoted towards the investigation of planetary ices and gas hydrates. Gas hydrates in nature occur in very remote places and they are very complex uh, with the sediment interactions and the conditions that they form under and samples that are brought up are under some sort of alteration or decomposition. We've uh, educated ourselves by experiment in learning how to make them in a form that's suitable for uh, doing uh, material property testing. So this is an unusual lab. Like I say, there are only a handful of them worldwide, and we are uh, very fortunate to be here at the Geological Survey and to have the opportunity of, of working on them. Mm -hmm.